My name is Elisabetta Perfetti. Uh, I'm an art conservator. I specialize in wall painting and plaster conservation. And I've been working at the Watts Tower Conservation Project. There is literally nothing, I think, in the world like the Watts Towers. To this day, every time I think about it, I cannot imagine for a human being to have that kind of perseverance, to have a vision and work on this project every day for 30 years. The towers are, are basically, were basically built by a person that didn't have a, a technical knowledge of what he was using. So a lot of the plaster that he put on, uh, amazing, amazing plaster, but for sure he didn't measure. He didn't have a recipe that he followed. So different area had diff a little bit of a different composition in the plaster. Everything that we found as an armature was a scrap metal. Pieces of metal that he found uh, that included a, the traditional rebar, but also angle bar, flat bars. In some of the elements, I didn't even know what, what they were or what they were for. It was something that he will find and use, you know, as an armature. He used different material stuff that usually in conservation is not really found on a regular basis. And so there was a lot of studies also on our part to learn these new things that, you know, every floor was, was something different. the rust and the corrosion um, sometimes builds up to, you know, um, one eighth of an inch to half an inch sometimes. And when there's so much rust, this rust causes the cement to spall, literally pushes the cement away from the tower 
There were a lot of these areas on the tower. Our hope is that with the welding that we've done, we have reinforced the tower. The welding is done by uh, Charles Dixon, a um, well-known African-American artist, especially very active in the community in, the, in Watts and Compton. We will cut into the cement and then find several areas that needed welding. And then on Friday, Charles will come and weld for us. If there is a lot of corrosion, sometimes we will either reinforce or substitute uh, part of the, the armature, and then we put everything back. A crack or a spalling of the cement, uh, it's always indicative of a problem. The uh, wider the crack, the higher the chance of, uh, you know, a problem inside the armature. So we will start to opening up the crack and reach the armature. Uh, we have found. Mm, part of the armature that were so corroded uh, that they have built uh, rust for probably like half an inch of rust. And so, you know, you have to clean everything. Imagine what a dentist does when it finds a cavity in a tooth. You know, they have to remove everything, they have to remove the, um, the damage, and then when you're left with the clean area, that's when you start to reconstruct and put everything together. <laughs> 